Okay, happy Wednesday on a Friday. We're back to Celeste of Multiplayer with Jeff Hobo and Hurricane. Started. I had this done already, but. Strat can talk about the dogs. Okay, that was last week, right? Was that last week? Yes, it is. Keep forgetting it's September already. <laughs> First week of September. Hey, Despirito, welcome back. You have vague re recollections of what? 30 seconds ago or 30 days ago? Okay, multiplayer's up. Ready to wait. So, cast characters. Now we've got Gimpy, the heel of the group, a dwarven cleric. We've got Herc, played by Hurricane, our half orc barbarian. Then we've got Jeff, our halfling monk. Made like UPS type stuff. Then we have Hobo, playing Hobo. Um, the Wood Elf Ranger. Correct. Everybody's is correct. Same difference I know. For me it is. No, actually I take that back. I can usually remember a month back better than I can th remembering 30 seconds ago. My brain, it's messed up. Okay, speaking of a month ago, um, it's only a week ago since we played this. Uh, this is a player-made dungeon created with the dungeon creator built into Celasta. Thank you, devs, for that. Uh, this is, I don't know which one we played. We played a number of, of creator-made stuff. And, or Yeah, creator-made stuff or fan-made, whatever. Um, we played a number of these now. This is one of the better ones, as far as quality and everything. It's whoever I need to look... I keep forgetting to look up to see who did this, but they've done a really good job. Very... I don't think I've noticed any real typos yet. Um, the dialogues are done well done, or so they, they are well done. Uh, no real issues so far. So, fingers crossed, hopefully it continues. But so far, it's been done. It's been done really well, utilizing the newest assets too. So that's good. So where are we? We are. Oh, I think we uh, told this guy his brother seems to be the dad. We found some clothing. Oh, that's right. Give T-Bald some time to think. T-Bald is nervous and scared. He was requested some time to think of his own for on his own for now. It would be best to continue on with other quests, especially with. Uh, what the Baron has requested of you. That's the use thou, thou shalt not steal. Seek the source of the note's fragrance. Justicar Oreo uh, took interest in the anonymous note, but unfortunately it was too little to go on. She remarked that the note has a distinct and powerful fragrance to it, a sweet smell. If you can luck into finding the source of that smell, that would be a good start. Without a late lead, you may just have to wait until the source presents itself on your journey. So that's these two are secondaries are to wait for. Okay, the Baron has asked you to assist at overtake, overtaking Fourth Wind Outpost. Post the po outpost recently taken by the Gal Galavan forces, though its strategic value is not particularly high. So that's the one we're supposed to be doing. Okay. That we are currently level five. I'm about halfway through, just a little under. Got all kinds of stuff here. This stuff. I think I have a weapon to sell that we identified last week, just before we ended the mace I have. Because your axe is a little bit better. What was? The pendant? The mace I got? Oh, the same one that I have too? Oh, we have a. I think I, it again. might have duplicated, I think. Yeah, well, I have... I'm gonna sell mine. Okay. Yeah, I have the uh, penitence. Yeah, penitence mace. That's my blunt weapon I'll be using if I need to. All right, yeah. Then I have the Rune Scar, which is a, a war axe. Right? I think that's what's technically. Yeah, it's, a, it's an axe. Uh, One handed. Does some fire damage. 
and it inflicts uh, borrowed luck, which screws with their saving disadvantage on their next saving throw. Now the penitence is plus one mace, does some extra radiant damage, and inflicts chilled. Chilled affects their ability. Sorry. Cannot gain hit points. If undead, disadvantage on attacking the caster. There we go. So that's our undead weapon. Also plus one chainmail stuff. I don't know why I'm carrying our crossbow, but I am. And because this is multiplayer, uh, they get to control their own characters. I can't play with their inventories. They can't play with mine, but we can't see each other's inventories. You can see what everybody's wearing, what they're carrying around. They look like. So next up, main story. Yep. Outpost. I think we've done everything here. Hang on. What's up? Does anyone have any acid? I think so. No acid for me. Okay, just I need I need lots of acid for making acid arrow rows of arrows. I'm checking the alchemy vendor here. Six for fifteen per, so I'm buying all. He also has some cheap uh, manuals for flaming arrows, flash arrows. Might as well pick them up. Yeah, they're cheap at 50 gold per. Yeah. yeah. On it. Hmm, a I guess it is. Which money do we have? We have. I did 200, it's not too bad. Does anybody need any healing potions at the moment? Hey, Miss Skippy, right. talk to me, be right back. I'm brewing all the time, we should have enough. Yeah, I, I just have the five of the regular low-end healing potions. Two die four, plus two. Okay, I need to go with K real quick. Mrs. Gimpy's got a paper jam and a printer. Yes, we still have a printer. Be back in a minute. I have lots of poison on me, so. Stormblade Great Axe.
flaming arrows. Lava stones. Do we have any any of that vendors have lava stones? I didn't see. Neither. Okay, I'm back. Fish and chips, tangy tartar sauce, and a side of coleslaw. Eh, we, the problem is we don't have any decent fish and chips places around here. It's not we're the on the coast. And we're not actually on the coast. We're like 20 miles inland, which is what, 30, 35 kilometers inland. <laughs> we're not close that close to the water. I know. To me, that's literally you're on the coast. I know, but you're nowhere near water, so there's a difference. But no, we haven't had any decent uh, fish and chips places here since like the early 90s, I think. I don't know what happened to them. They were all the rage back in the late 80s, early 90s. Oh, that's too bad. Yep, I agree. Now I have oh, a... Well, primordial yeah. lava stone? Primordial? Oh. Or just lava stone. Just a. Uh, well, let me double check. Yeah, doo -doo -doo. Spirited to around there, shut down during oh. COVID years. Yeah, I know a lot of stuff. Uh, uh, seven here at a rare component vendor for 50 each. So they're primordial lava stone. Seven pieces, or is that too much? Nope, never too much. <laughs> so I uh, checked the vendors. I didn't see any vendors that sells any stuff to protect us from the elements. Um, one of I wasn't looking at any of the recipes. So. There was somebody was selling rings. I remember seeing that. That's a ring? Yeah. Oh, I didn't, wasn't looking at rings. I was looking at cloaks and or trying to find cloaks and such. Yeah, There's what? a ring? Yeah, there was a ring. Um, we are down to 2.3. Careful with the spending. Ancient arms. Who was selling this stuff? Ah, uh, the Ring of Cold Resistance? That would be it. I don't know if that's good enough, though. Immune to the effects of moderate cold weather. Immune to the frozen condition type. Yeah. It's, yep, that's it. We that's have it. the uh, recipe for the boots of the Winterlands. We do? Yeah, but we are... Uh, Don't we have, have materials We have held one. Yeah, we're missing a minor shroud of ice, but I think the vendor I'm standing in front is selling those, but I haven't checked for the Winter Wolf pelt. I don't recall ever seeing that. There's an exotic artifact and rare components vendor. Yeah, the rings. No, there's only two of the rings, too, unfortunately. They're a little expensive. Yeah, two grand. Well, the Winter Wolf Pelt is 100, and the Minor Shard of Ice is 900, so 1,000, and we could make one pair of boots. Cool. I'm good with the boots. I think those vendors around here have every item in the game. And then some. I don't think it's every item, but... Hey, Taco, welcome back. I just did hydrate. Nice and Taco also needs to know... Hey, Veronica, who is the coolest viewer? Who is the coolest viewer? Let me think about that. Dispirator is pretty cool. He would be cooler if Gimpy could actually pronounce his name correctly like me. That's one of my favorite ones, by the way. Yeah, 
it's one of my favorites because she pronounces the spirator's name correctly, but she mispronounces pronounce because I I typoed it when I put gave it put it into her brain. So I I found that amazingly humorous. So I don't change it. Done shopping. Spend all yeah, the money. Keep some money. Yes, don't yeah. spend all the money. So where are we going? Going outside to have fun. Which door? It's one over here. I can just do a quick travel if you want. Yeah, just ready. Except when people are busy. Well, almost everybody's over here anyway. Okay, so this is the map. Get to travel around on. And we're going to the outpost down here, the fourth wind. Travel normal. Set. Go. Three days to get there. ambush, no disruption. I know, I'm surprised. It's perfect. We were all awake crafting stuff. Yeah, we were working hard to the night so we didn't get ambushed. Okay, so we have not been here yet. And we've got new objectives, so... So we got to kill a bunch of things: Galavan Elite, Galavan Lieutenant, the uh, leader, and find the find the Sir Islin at find the spy Islin at the outpost. Well, there's a campfire here, cool. and a traveler trinket. Edward, Bethany, to me. Uh, so, Nessay's birthday charm. What the hell is that supposed to be? Interested facts. Oh, relics for people to collect. So she's a vendor and he has some dialogue, I guess. Stuff. Lots of arrows. Arrows um, is good. Or the forest, nice druid. Guys on manuals. <coughs> Ewald, that was his name. Ewald. Let's see what he has to say. Or is Hobo shopping? Or is he a merchant? Is uh, I'm Edwald. Said all this thing? Oh, he's a nobody right now. Look on him, nothing happens. 
Oh, plus one. You need to talk to someone? No, there's no one to talk to. The guy okay. that's standing next to the merchant doesn't say anything. This is not what I was expecting. Something's not right. Everything's right. Stick together. Jeff, run in there by yourself. Okay. I see loot. Oh, actually, come back here for a second. While I'm thinking about it, I need to do eight on everybody because it lasts for what, eight hours or something. That's crazy. I see a mercenary swordsman. Is he a good guy? Nope. I don't think this guy will mind too much if we take a look in what he's got in his wagon. Seems to be sleeping on the job. Permanently. Anything good? Uh, one sec. Uh, GP, food, beetle carp rest, bracelets. Brimstone, Viper, Venom Glands. Yeah. Give that guy a surprise shot. What? Who is? Oh, he's a bad guy? Yeah. Yep, he's a bad guy. Who's gonna shoot him? The one with the bow? Oh, well, you know, you're just, just trying to make sure that you weren't gonna just sneak up and just hack him in the back. <laughs> I can't get any closer without him noticing me. All right, you guys ready? Yep. Nah, that's all a few. I feel like a good guy just attacking him out of the blue. Yeah, well, the, we know there are bad guys here, so. I mean, I, we didn't ask or talk to him ahead of time, so it makes us look like the bad guys, but in reality, they're the bad guys. I forget, why are we here again? Uh, because our boss said to, we had to go here, clean it out. Oh, okay. See, we're doing our jobs. We're not bad guys. We're told to be here. We're following oh, orders. We are only following orders. Then once a year is up for a contract, we can do what we want. And we don't mm -hmm. have to see each other ever again. Probably. Yay. <laughs> doesn't notice you stabbing him in the back he's surprised that's on me ah no longer hidden yeah 
Yes, we're cleaning out the do getter. No, sorry, evil doers. We're cleaning out the evil doers. Again, only following orders. Technically, we don't know if they're evil or not. We just know that they oppose whatever army is directing us to attack these dudes. They're bad guys. We know they are. They don't look like bad guys. Well, bad guys never look like bad guys. That's why they're bad guys. Don't say I'm surprised. Oh no, I've been detected. The guy walking around in heavy armor got detected. Oh, there's a druid over here. They're towards the north. And I think there was some that was in the building. There's another. That's why. There's a I think some of the buildings. So okay. they'll be racing out and probably move. Yep, now they know where we are. Surprise, so I wouldn't be racing up too much. Flaming sword? He does. Mr. Druid. Oh, he might be using the spell. Ow. That hurt quite a bit. It's a good spell. Snowstorm or ice storm? I think it's ice storm. It's ice storm. Yep, ice storm. Right there. Kill the druid, yes, kill the druid. kind of forgot that, didn't you? Yeah. My bad. So they've left eight. Eight. Hey, 
Trebian. That's why I did so much damage. Oh, sorry, that's Jeff. More coming your way. Learn how to dodge better there. Dodging is hard. <laughs> so, who check with the bow or what? Probably the hired thug that's on Hurricane. Yeah, Hurricane's outnumbered at the moment. We do some help. Maybe go for the Berserker, I can finish off the fuck. Berserker? Berserker. Yep. That guy. Go for the ginger. Got him halfway. Yep, not that bad. Where are you planning to go, Gimpy, racing and, to help Hurricane? Or yeah, I'm going to go try to get some heals on Hurricane. Okay, then I will pull back to the Berserker. French. Oops, I can't move. Oh. Yeah, you're fine. I was hoping I could move to the side by one, but I can't. Oh, no, we're good. Einar, Evo, Curai. I kind of like that. been spotted. Wait till the next one.
did have us outnumbered, but now they're down to much greater. Well, it doesn't seem like something a good guy would say. Yet they say it all the time. Something I would say. Well, we know you're not a good guy, though. You're just pretending to be one. And hope a less concentration on the hunter's mark. Should have dodged better. That was a magical shot through a crack in the wall. It was just a very good shot. <laughs> I guess he's too close to the bow. Yeah, I'm gonna switch over to uh, melee. Yeah. Oh, okay. nice hit. Harder. That, was a, time. that was really good damage there. Stabby stabby. Actually, it's more slashy slashy, but close enough. Ice stability. That's the way. At what level do we get another feat? Eight. Eight. Four, eight. Four, eight, eight, twelve, twelve sixteen. 16. Yep. Four feet. Then we're at, what, five? We're at five and a half. Crit. Damage rolls could be a little bit better, but killed him anyway. Four D six and had a two ones and a two. <laughs> we'll call it Wednesday on a Friday. Faster than that. Nope. Oops. No. I do not think this means what you think it means. World. I forget. Is darts an Olympic sport? No, archery is though. <laughs> Ping pong Victory is too. Is Sorry, yours. table tennis.
Well, we won. We did win. Yeah, if you're too far away, it's just about to hand you some darts. I like darts. Color spray. Not a spell I can use, I don't think. Not a spell I would use, actually. Nope, I can't use it, so. Jump, though. Can't use that one either. I hear noises. And you see yeah, spider a eggs. There's a graveyard as well. Uh, the spider eggs doesn't really mean much. It's just part of the scenery. Sounds like an ogre. And I see an armor stand inside that house. Did we want to do a short rest real quick, or...? No. Okay. I see a spider. Should I kill him? Can you shoot him, Hobo? Yeah, let's hope we can shoot him. Um, have to see if I can get an angle on him. Can I get him? I can get him. Do you want me to shoot him? That's where I can get a little bit back a little bit closer first. Okay, go. It's only one spider. You have something to the northwest from us? Riot in there too. Fey Wolf. Just a spider. Shambly Mound. A couple of spiders, a couple of fey wolves. Yeah, we'll, we'll be fine. I don't know how attacking this one little spider in a building activates everybody. It's the way it works. Sure enough. They're all telepathically linked. Or they have walkie-talkies. It's one of the two. Let's go with walkie-talkies. Probably more realistic. Kill it, Jeff. Huh. Nope, there's one in the back room. The downside of surprising them is we don't know where they really are yet. Go into the house, put them in through the door. Yeah, just find them inside the house might be easiest. Definitely sounds like there's something in the trees to the west. Yeah, that here. Where'd he come from? A purple wolf.
I thought we said cautious. So close. Oh, are you really kidding me? Yes. It was very close. Hey, that was mine. Yes, that was. Parkour. Sampley mounds, we have not seen them yet. Poor spider. Hello, Pimpy. It is time to take a break. Go check on the dogs. This break supports the purchase of Rocket's treats. If you would like to help Rocket feel like a puppy again, Please visit gimpyneecom slash support or you can watch the ads during the break or you can type exclamation point treats in chat. Thank you. Your next break is in one hour. Hmm, should I kill the dryad? Probably not a bad idea. Wasn't very impressive. No. Two minimum damage rolls, and so he's impressive with magic missiles. Makes things not die. You like it? Too slow. She casting slow. Great, she got all of us up here. So, oh, not me. Well, I said up here. You're not up here. You're behind us. She tried to get me. Oh, it's a good thing I did the defense thing. <laughs> yeah. So what is this blob resistant to? Blob? Chambly Mound? Yeah. Um, poison, maybe? I'm not sure. Yeah, 
supposed to give me anything. Because we don't know anything. Yeah, we don't know anything about it yet, so. It says it's a huge living planet. Yep. I wouldn't be surprised if poison doesn't do too much. Acid should be good. Flaming. Yeah. Wait a minute. Hobo's not slow. No, he's not slow. You made us a roll. Wait, I can't tell. Oh, that'll work. I failed to cast a fireball spell. Why? Because your slow fingers cannot do the intricacy gestures required to do the fireball. Seem right. Courage! Damage. <laughs> That's a lot of damage. Critical hits hurt. Ouch. Oh, the wolf's dead at least. No more slow. Of course, I already made my saving throw, but whatever. And the winner is me. That's right. <laughs> Easiest job in the group. Shoot, stand back and shoot arrows at stuff. I have to aim. Yeah. Oh, there's a spider there. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Oops. Okay, it missed. You like it? Hmm, this guy's got some hit points. Yeah, he's got a few. Dodging. Yeah, so did I. Apparently it's... I don't get it. I think we're dodging too. I mean, it... Maybe instead of a dodge, you should have went with a four. Shambly Mandrels was a disadvantage. Oh, because you're grappled now, so you can't dodge. That's what it is. Oh. Cannot move for one minute, because that's what grappling does. Hey, Bata, welcome back. Happy Friday. That's gonna be fine. I'm gonna be pulling out anyways. Let the berserker tank a bit.
I don't know how to use my belt and try again. Or am I still grappled? Uh, you are currently grappled, but... Oh, I can't move anyways. Yeah, Never you mind. can't move at all. Grappling's harsh. <laughs> Must have hurt. Yeah, that wasn't that much damage. <laughs> He's fire resistant. <laughs> Oh, he is yeah. resistant to fire. Well, that doesn't make sense. Well, it kind of does. If he's moist, then I could understand him being fire resistant. Poke him and see if he's moist, Hurricane. Perfect! He's not poison resistant. No. I don't get it anymore. Advantage. Why is it disadvantage? Because you're being grappled. Yep. Oh, you stunned him at least. That's good. So when you're grappled, you have no speed attack rules. At disadvantage or attack. No quarter given. Oh, that's right. I stunned it too. I forget about that. It's twice. Done. Never mind. He stunned to death. What did you stun him with? Oh, my little uh, special attack that I get a choice of doing. It's a cleric thing. Oh. I don't get to use this as often as you do, though. Hurricane, I got an item for you. To identify? Yep. There's a hatch. I got an arrow for you, but you're gone. Who care? Come on. Some look at the armory thing in the cabin yet? Armory yeah, thing? I did. Cool. Our armor stand, I guess. Oh, the armor stand, yeah. There's a hatch over here. Where's over here? Inside the inside the cabin. Teacher one. Oh. Abandoned cabin. Take a break and then see what's on the floor. Yep. Oh, it's actually, let's do a quick break or a short rest. To just top everybody off. Back. Yes. Okay, now we can take a break. Get up, stretch your legs, get some water. Let's see what Mr. Kimpy's up to. It's my job. And, um, let's see. You want poison arrows, Hobo? Sure. Or would you want poison poisons? 
I have lots of poison on me already. I've got a poison arrow at this. Okay, I'm gonna take a break. Get up, stretch your legs, get some water, that kind of thing. Thank you all very much for watching. Of course, thank you, Jeff Hobo, and Hurricane for joining me again. Be back in a few minutes. Enjoy the dog video.